Good morning and hello there YouTube. Uh, Devin here again and today I have a pair of boots to show you. Um, if you've been watching any of my previous recent videos you know I have a bunch of boots for sale uh, that I haven't worn to try to make pa uh, room for new pairs of boots. Um, they're not selling super well but that's totally fine so I'll find a way to get rid of them just giving you guys the option. Uh, so if you're interested in any pairs of my boots that I have for sale that's by no means all of them. There is other pairs that I'm going to put up that are kind of more nicer pairs, I would say. Um, just a few of them that are going to be kind of higher price points than those. Those are kind of like my economy options. Um, the nicer ones that I might do a video on if there's any interest. So leave a comment if there is any interest to possibly buy some nicer ones. They are going to cost more though. So I know a lot of you guys don't have a lot of money. So if there isn't any interest interest in it I won't even do the video I won't waste my time so but they're gonna be higher price points because they're gonna be rarer um, they're gonna be older pairs of boots that I have that are brand new never been worn never been used and uh, or anything like that never had a polished onto them or they're just going to be really really expensive boots that have I've maybe worn a few times um, that are going to be for sale but that's not what this video is about this video is about this pair of boots right here and this is a pair of boots I have been waiting fucking years for years for somebody to make all right and it is a pair of jungle boots that are ankle boots I fucking love ankle boots you guys have seen that in other videos ankle boots are the shit they are the way to go I love them so much and here we have a pair of cut down jungle boots made by uh, Go Ruck, as you can see there by the tag. Um, these are a pretty expensive pair of boots, but so far, uh, from everything that they've claimed, this is a ecstatic pair of boots, except for one thing. There's one thing that they claimed that isn't necessarily perfect on them. Uh, it's not that big of a deal, but it, it, it is kind of something I would have liked to actually be true. Um, and so what we have here, on uh, these are called the Mac V1s, and they're made by Goruck. They're not cheap by any means, um, but they are very, very, very well constructed. They are very comfortable as long as you size them correctly. Um, now, they do run slightly, ever so slightly large, I will say. So um, they run pretty close to spot on, so if you order whatever size you wear in like a tennis shoe, you'll probably be fine. Um, but they do run ever so slightly large, just so you know. So not enough to really like size down, but there's extra room in there, which is, if you like that in your shoe, that's fine. But I kind of like my shoes to fit snug, like they're supposed to, and these just have just a tiny little extra bit of room. So, um, but they're made out of basically the same way as the jungle boots. They're plain toed, um, stitch construction, uh, eyelets. Now the eyelets are plastic on these, which makes these kind of like airport approved rather than metal on the old jungle boots and I have I have an older jungle boot here to kind of compare it to now so these are both um, the left foot as you can see here's the old kind of jungle boot uh, now the leather on this is a much thicker on the the old jungle boot than on the the cut down new jungle boot um, the leather on the old jungle boot takes a polish much better. Now, they claim on their website, as you see, I tapped the boot and it's already flaking off here. Um, they claim the Mac V1s here on their website are polishable. And they I wouldn't say it's really a polishable quality of leather, to be honest, um, because I polished it right away. And as you can see from this here, pretty much all of it has flaked off, except for the very tip of the toe where there isn't any flexion on the boot. Whereas these that... That doesn't really happen. These polish up quite well, um, and they don't really flake like that. Um, so now, these also have metal eyelets. These are the glass-covered uh, metal eyelets uh, to prevent the rust and everything like that. Now these are the later ones that are the nylon instead of the canvas, uh, but basically that was the only change throughout their entire life, and uh, these have the speed laces on the upper eyelets rather than all of just the ring eyelets. And uh, here's the sole. This is probably one of my favorite soles. It is the Panama sole developed right near the end of World War II and made famous in Vietnam. Um, excellent outsole if you want to get a grip in really soggy terrain and everything like that but it also carries a lot of 
dirt and debris and they uh, got together with the shoe guy, uh, a guy that works for Reebok to design these, um, according to their site, and they found it a nice way around how a shoe works. Now, you're going to notice that the outsole on these are pretty flat. They have some kind of deeper channels, but for the most part, they're pretty flat. But they still get a really good grip because of all of these multi-leveled, so all these little triangles are at different heights, and they're in, arranged in such a way with these horizontal and vertical lines that you get just as good of a grip, actually, because you get more surface area with these um, as a grip, because all these little small channels are going to provide more surface area than a lot of big channels. So you get an amazing amount of grip with a sole that's this flat, actually. Now, living here in the north where we get a shit ton of winter, both of these are fucking terrible on ice. I will say that. So don't expect to just be like Spider-Man in these because they both suck on ice. But pretty much everything sucks on ice. So, <coughs> the musical. Um, they have this nice reinforcement in the back that's nylon. Um... A nice padded leather collar. They come with an amazingly soft insole. Uh, very, probably one of the best insoles I've ever got in a boot or shoe right out of the bat. Um, these are not waterproof. Uh, not that I have anything against Gore-Tex, but I've said it before. Gore-Tex sucks. I hate Gore-Tex. Gore-Tex is terrible. Not only is it loud and expensive, it doesn't really work. Like, they claim it's a breathable fabric, but it's not. Um, and there's fabrics out there that... Um, since it's basically not breathable, uh, you can just get, like, these Gore-Tex parkas I have, I have just for collection. I don't really use them for all that much, or if I have to, for only short instances, because it just doesn't work. There's stuff out there that works better, like a rubberized works so much better. Or in this case, rather than trying to keep your feet dry, they, these boots just let your feet get wet, and then how they're designed is they're designed to dry quickly which is great because it keeps the cost down. It keeps uh, the longevity of the boot much higher because you don't have this weird uh, water and air permeable membrane in your boot that can hold water or keep water out. Uh, it keeps your feet really hot and gross. Uh, it, it traps bacteria. This just, these just let water drain out through these vents and then you, know, you keep walking in them or you take your shoes off and you dry them and you turn this boot upside down and then they're just damp basically. There's nothing to hold water in these, uh, which is great because none of these materials hold water. So once you get rid of the water that's in them, um, they're basically just going to be damp. Now, they, they're not padded, that means, either. So that means they're going to rub if you size them incorrectly. And I'll pull the, pull the insole out here. Now, this is the very awesome insole. Now, it's kind of a uh, I like foam insoles over gel insoles. Foam insoles are so much better than, than gel insoles. Gel insoles suck ass. Don't ever buy them. Uh, and this is a very, very awesome closed cell foam insole. It's, it's very thick. It's very heavily padded. But it also has the arch support you need and everything like that. It's, it's basically a neutral arch, as you could tell, because they kind of have to be to sell shoes because some people got flat feet and some people have high arches. But if you're like me and you have high arches, you just put another... You just put a more supporting insole underneath this one. Um... And this thing works freaking great. I can't speak highly enough about this. So uh, this insole was made in uh, uh, June 13th of 2018. So these are a pretty new pair of boots. And I highly recommend you guys get one of these if you want a pair of these. Especially if you're one of the older veterans that like the jungle boot style. This combines basically the jungle boot style with a trainer. And they're amazing. I can't speak more highly of them. They're going to become one of my... Probably my most used pair of summer boots, honestly. I love them that much. I can't speak highly enough of these, and I'm super ecstatic I was able to get them. Now, they are expensive. Just remember that. These are quite expensive, um, but they have an awesome, awesome warranty plan, and they basically even say, like, they don't technically warranty the soles or anything like that, but if you do completely wear the soles out however many years down the road... Uh, they said they'd be more than happy if you send them a picture of you with them in your favorite place, like, that you were wearing them, they'll more than happily send you another pair, uh, for free. So, uh, super, super awesome company to work, uh, to work with on these boots. Uh, they made an excellent, excellent freaking product. I can't speak more highly of it. The only problem I have is the leather wasn't really polishable, uh, so that'll, that's not that big of a deal, though to be honest. So, 
because uh, I can probably polish them as they get more worn out and the leather kind of starts to lose its smoothness and that finish that's on it and it kind of starts to get beat up. It'll take a polish much better, but it just doesn't take one away, right away out of the box. It'll take some beating up before before it'll take a polish. So, But I'm super, super happy with these. Can't be happier. I'm glad somebody finally made a jungle boot and an ankle design. So thank you so much for watching, you guys. Uh, remember uh, to leave a comment uh, if you have any questions or anything on this on this boot. Or if uh, to leave a comment if you if you have the money and would be interested in some of my more expensive pairs of boots that I could put up there. I got about five pairs um, that are going to be probably the $150, $200 range uh, if you guys would be interested. So thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.